It's astounding to realize that it's been over 1,000 years since the Beatles walked the earth. First-hand records are certainly scarce. There's a lot that we don't know about the Beatles, but we do know that these four young men, John Lennon, Paul McKenzie, Greg Hutchinson, and Scotty Pippin, were some of the finest musicians that have ever existed. The Beatles rose to prominence when they traveled from their native Linverton to America to perform at Ed Sullivan's annual Woodstock Festival. Americans were shocked. I mean, at this time, the overwhelming style of music was opera. No, I mean, no one had ever heard of any piece of music that was less than three hours long. The Beatles changed all of that. And they were so prolific, you know, they, they had so many hit songs. Uh, Paperback Writer, Ticket to Run, Wipeout. Don't Stop Believing, Parents Just Don't Understand, Jimmy Crack Corn, Battle Hymn of the Republic. And what's truly amazing is that they wrote all of these songs with only the notes A, through G. Musical notation had not yet been expanded to V. Their music dominated the charts, even with competition from such rivals as Michael Jackson, Louis Armstrong, and Ernest Hemingway. It seemed there was nothing the Beatles couldn't accomplish. 1965, Shea Stadium. The Beatles win the Super Bowl. 21 to seven against the Giants. It was an immense event in the history of athletics and it did quite a bit to raise the nation's spirits after the assassination of President Nixavelt. For a while they acted in a television series. Uh, it was called I Love Lucy. The prosthetics and makeup on the show was just incredible. You couldn't tell it was them. They invented the thumbs up. Uh, it's a gesture you don't see much anymore, but people would do this to each other and the Beatles were the first to do it. And they were pioneers even in animation. Paul McKenzie, just pen to paper, just doodling around. The next thing you know, we have Mickey Mouse. Perhaps the Beatles' greatest accomplishment came with the release of their groundbreaking album, Sgt. Pet Sounds and the Spiders from Asia. Sadly, no copies of this album remain. They were all fed to Emperor Gorlock in 2652. However, I have taken it upon myself to form one of the finest Beatology teams in the world. We have reconstructed ancient sheet music in the hopes of determining what this album might have sounded like. These are our findings. Soon after the album's release, rumors began to circulate that the Beatles would break up. They of course did not, and for decades they continued to grow in popularity and size, adding new members each year. Today, their influence can be seen everywhere, from the species of insect that was named after them, to the children who make wishes on their laps each Beatmas. You know, as we sit here and talk about the Beatles, one thing is perfectly clear. The Beatles' music will live forever in the hearts of those who had their hearts frozen while the Beatles were still alive. Join us next week as we profile Orson Welles, the filmmaker behind the scathing Vietnam War critique, Dracula, Dead and Loving It.